Newfer, Chambers, and Young in the water. Newfer at the top of your screen there just swam the 100 fly, had a really nice race, very happy with that. So she basically needs to do the first 50 of that 100 fly again and then tack on the rest of the IM. This is going to be a very competitive race here. I expect all of these athletes to really stay together here in the butterfly, but then it's going to be interesting to see the lead change. Colleen Young is a very strong breaststroker. Colleen Young, very strong I ever as well, but I do think that Olivia Chambers, with that distance swimming background, is going to be able to really take it home in the final 50. Grace New from first to touch the wall, 31-40. They make the turn. Olivia Chambers in second. Colleen Young currently in third. Already, wow. Watch Chambers pick up that lead. You know, New is a really good butterfly, but Chambers is just running away with it here in the back turf, and she is not going to let that lead go. I would never call anyone's daughter beast or animal unless the mother did it first, and her mother did say that Livy was known as beast and animal, and now she's putting on the beast mode in leg two. Look at it. How can you not? Wow, that tempo coming into this turn. You're going to see these athletes here all do an open type turn, which is very common. You'll see that in the visually impaired athletes because they want to ensure that they can get their hand on the wall. Right rather than doing a riskier type turn, like a bucket turn or a crossover turn. This breaststroke for Chambers in the middle. She stays under the water just a little bit longer, almost rides that glide. She does, and that's important in the IM. You don't want to swim the 50 breaststroke in the IM like you would swim a 50 breaststroke just straight out race. You've got to save something because you still have a 50 freestyle at the All end. Right, and she's got Colleen Young coming into view onto her left-hand side, so that massive lead that she had after the backstroke has been chopped in half, and it looks like Colleen Young means business here as she pulls up next to her lane number five. The turn and the final 50 in the free is going to be very interesting. Colleen Young, Paralympic silver medalist in this event. She is not looking to let that go, but she's going to have to catch Olivia Chambers. I'm not sure if she can do it. Chambers is just so strong in the freestyle. More than a full body length right now as they approach the last 25 meters here, and it is Olivia Chambers, 21-year-old out of Little Rock, Arkansas, starting to pull away. She certainly has held something back as she turns on the afterburners. Behind Chambers, it is calling Young to her right, and then Grace Newford to her left, but no one is going to stop Olivia Chambers, the animal coming up to the wall as she gets the touch and gets it done at a time of 228.52. 232.53 for Young and Newfer will stop the clock at a 236.29. These S13 visually impaired athletes, their friends in and out of the pool. They've got to pause for two and a half minutes to be intense competitors, but they're all pushing each other so much. We saw that here in this race and in so many others here at this meet.